Well, welcome to a new Team CGC 9.8 video. Today's an unbox video, and as I said yesterday, I got three packages in all on the same day, uh, two days ago. So um, this is the second unbox from uh, those packages. And um, yeah, this book is, you know, a book I I really wanted. It's a Batman book, uh, a Batman titled book too, not like a detective book or anything like that. Batman book from the 1990s, a CGC 9.8 blue label book. And, you know, if you kind of normally watch the channel, I'm really kind of all about, like, companion books. Uh, so, this book goes really well with another book I purchased about uh, two, three weeks ago now. Um, so, yeah, this kind of packaging came out. I kind of pre-unpackaged it, so uh, it's not like half the video me unpacking things. Just really quickly, join, um, invite you to join the team and subscribe to Team CGC 9.8 here. Love to have you on the team. And, um, you know, when you press subscribe, the bell pops up, hit the bell, and uh, you'll get all their latest notifications. And, you know, I'm doing about four or five videos a week now, so that would be so appreciated if you could subscribe. Add me on Twitter and Instagram as well. But um, the newest CGC 9.8 book I purchased off of eBay, and we'll get into some of the details about price, and I want to look on the CGC census for this book. It's a uh, Batman 567. And uh, first, Cassandra Kane, first appearance of Batgirl, new Batgirl, uh, first Cassandra Kane, and you know, really cool cover. Obviously, I, I really like this cover, and uh, part of the No Man's Land story line. You know, one thing I re really like about this book: there's not too too many copies on the CGC census. So we'll look at the CGC census. Uh, there's 142 CGC 9.8s of this book in the blue label, 142 of them, so one of, of 142 item, that's pretty cool. Um, so, you know, doing some, like, and just, you know, really quick, we'll do the ratio, is 31%. That's not too bad for, like, a late 90s book. A lot of times you get over 50% in, like, these modern books. Collecting was a thing by then, so um, these ratios aren't too, too low at that time. Lower the better. Um... But not too bad. So CGC Sense is looking pretty good. One of a 142. But doing some research for um, this video, something I did not know when I purchased this book is that Cassandra Kane's supposed to be in the new Birds of Prey movie. And obviously that trailer just dropped like a day or two ago. So this could be a pretty good time to buy, being that you know I bought about a week or two before this trailer dropped, and you know it's kind of not everybody knows that Cassandra Kane's going to be in the movie. But apparently, for, you know, don't. Quote me 100% on that, but I, I read a couple articles and it was like Cassandra Kane, Huntress, uh, Renee Montoya, and uh, someone else I can't remember are in it. And then I think obviously Harley Quinn and I think Black Mask is going to be the villain. Um, but um, so that might have been a little bit of a timely buy if this movie drops and Cassandra Kane does really well. So um, let's talk about price, how much I paid for this book. Um, and I want to bring out my companion book to this book, which I would totally recommend uh, to purchase too if you're a big Batman fan and, you know, thinking about Batman first appearances and uh, new Batgirl is really popular, especially, uh, possibly, it can be even much more popular if this Birds of Prey movie really hits good. But uh, talking about price for this book, what I paid, bought it off of eBay. In an auction format, so fire, you know, a seven-day fire sale auction, you know, started at a buck or whatever it was, uh, ended up paying two hundred and one dollars and fifty cents for this book. Um, and you know what? Like, I just got it out actually, so let me just take a look at it because um, first glance, it looks flawless. <laughs> yeah, no Newton rings on this book, which is nice. I believe it's like a, a new, a new CGC case, like a brand new encapsulated book. Yeah, maybe some slight, like, inner well scuffing, they call it. There's some little slight scuffs on the well, but very slight. The book itself is actually perfect. Like, it's honestly... Yeah, it's perfect. I'm pointing at white pages. Looks, yeah, it looks good. So, you know, even the case, too. What the, besides that slight inner well scuffing, there's, no, you know, not any marks on the case, which is great. Um, so... Yeah, with uh, Cassandra Kane, you know, a two hundred one fifty. Let's talk about price a little bit more. Two hundred one fifty. Um, I was, maybe uh, two three weeks ago there, we did a pricing video where one had one for one eighty nine, and um, I thought that was a really good price. And it was actually a buy it now. Someone had posted it and said, "Hey, like this is going to be a really good price." 
um, like really competitive from like what the last ones have sold. And um, yeah, that was a very competitive price. I would say 201.50 is sort of an average, you know, good price that you should get if you're patient and like waiting for an auction. Because uh, in a buy it now, these are all over 250 for sure. Like even some over 300 in the buy it now for first Cassandra Kane, first appearance of Cassandra Kane, new Batgirl. Uh, so I am going to bring out a uh, companion book for a sec here. Which is a Batman Legends of the Dark Knight number one twenty, and um, yeah, so this one is first new Batgirl in costume, and um, and it, it's Huntress revealed as Batgirl in the storyline. So you know, with Huntress being prominent in this issue, um, Huntress is apparently in the Birds of Prey movie as well. Something I didn't know before I bought these comics. And it's it's honestly like a really good microcosm for how I like recommend to buy comic books. Like you buy comic books because you like the covers, you're like attracted to something about it, you enjoy the characters. Me, I always like Batman books from the 90s because I find there's like not a lot on the senses, which it makes it like limited and rare, which I think is good for like a long-term potential type thing. But uh, and then you get a lot of first appearances in there, and you know I bought quite a lot of Batman first appearances for like less than a hundred bucks and um, this one no but Cassandra Kane this uh, Batman 567 is probably the most prominent first appearance in Batman comics from the 90s and you know 20150 is quite a lot for a 90s book um, I bid I think I bid uh, it was like 220 something just to make sure I won it and I, I didn't think it would go that high uh, I was hoping to get it below 200 but um, yeah, happy, really happy to have this book, and kind of happy to have them as companions. And doing the research for this video, seeing that the these characters are going to be in the new Birds of Prey movie, I think this ha these have a lot of potential to kind of, you know, if I wanted to, kind of flip them, I guess, like in a, in a very short amount of time. But I don't think I will. Um, yeah, and you know, Batman five to sixty seven again. There's a hundred and forty two on the census in the blue label. That's not a lot for. A prominent first appearance like you know in the 80s even though that the CGC 9.8 ratios are lower in the 80s for first appearances and things like that it's almost like four or five hundred like three four five six hundred copies you know sometimes over a thousand copies in a first appearance and then in the early 90s it's almost always over a thousand copies because that's when comic book printing was so uh, over the top that was kind of the bubble of the comic book printing early 90s by late 90s, this book's a 1999 book, Com printing completely slowed down, uh, comic book collecting was not popular at this time compared to early 90s and 80s, and um, yeah, you just see a lot of like interesting books uh, in first appearances during that time that are kind of limited on the CGC census, and I think maybe over long term, that could be like a potential catalyst for the prices to go up even more. And yeah, you know, female superheroes, uh, another thing, the Re Renee Montoya is going to be in Birds of Prey movie, and just sort of out of nowhere I had purchased a Batman 475 it is, first Renee Montoya, because I really love the Scarface cover, and then I was like, okay, bonus first appearance too for this, and you know, so I picked that up for a hundred bucks it was, and a really reasonable shipping too, so that's a huge thing for, because I'm in Canada and bringing them over usually from the U.S., so... Yeah, I think I'm like almost all set for this Birds of Prey movie without even knowing any, having any knowledge of any of the characters just being in it, but just kind of following what I really like and liking Batman covers and liking sort of underfollow Batman villains. You know, I got the first Scarface and Ventriloquist, which is a super cool Batman villain and a CGC 9.8, that's Detective uh, 583, I believe. Uh, Scar first Scarface and Ventriloquist, really cool underfall of Batman villain, and there's, I think, less than 100 copies of those on the CGC census in the CGC 9.8. So, yeah, these books are right on my alley. Thanks for watching today, though. Uh, yep, yeah, glad to add a Batman 567 to my collection. Yeah, I'm gonna, can't wait to kind of just put them in the box together. Um, first Cassandra Kane kind of set, and, you know, I remember when I first saw these issues, I was always like, wow love this cover and and that ended up being the first one that I bought um, seeing that and I purchased this one for 120 I think it was 119.99 in a buy it now where the guy was like I'm purchasing this very or I'm pricing this very competitively 
you can always look out for those kind of buying now. Normally, I recommend to buy auctions and be patient for those auctions. That's when you're going to get the best price. But every now and then, you know, you have to, you can't follow the rules 100%. Like every now and then, a buy it now, for, and then you look in the description, and, and the person's actually saying like, "Hey, I'm putting this up for like a really good price because like I want to sell it." Those are opportunities that you can take advantage of, especially if the shipping's like decent. So that's what happened with this one, one twenty. I paid for that one, and this one was uh, what two oh one fifty. Um, and this is you know the more prominent, more popular book, and you know the first appearance of Batgirl, Cassandra Kane. Okay, that'll be all for today's video. Uh, tomorrow, got another unbox, so um, I'll probably do another unbox tomorrow too, and then I kind of get back to a couple more ideas I got for uh, the remainder of the week, and then it'll be Sunday, and we'll be into our pricing video. So, um, if you haven't already, please hey, subscribe to the channel. I'd invite you to. I'd uh, love to have you on the team, and hit the bell to get our latest notifications. Add me on Instagram and Twitter as well. Pretty active on those. Um, you can message me on Instagram if you have uh, any questions about comic books. Uh, comic book collecting or anything and hopefully I might know something that can help you out. Uh, but thanks very much for watching today and I'll see you on the next video.